Hello everybody, my name is Fire Claymore, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. In today's episode, I have an interesting design for a tileable auto dispenser slash dropper. Now, for those who do not know what one of those is, basically an auto dispenser slash dropper is something that when you put an item inside of it, no matter how many items you put in, it will always shoot the item out. And basically, I have come up with a design that is tileable. Now, it isn't the as cheap as a usual auto dispenser and or dropper, but it is very cheap considering for what you have to work with. Now, um, it is a very simple design, obviously, being tileable, it is one wide, so if you would like a screenshot, here is one. Um, it is, Like I said, it is very cheap. All it requires is the um, dropper slash dispenser, uh, at least, yes, three building blocks, or four, I guess, because you'd have to place uh, the this comparator on one, two comparators, a piece of redstone dust, two hoppers, and one miscellaneous item, and a redstone torch. Now, obviously, being tileable and all that junk, you can put um, you can put them side by side. So if I just do this and I start putting stone in each of these, as you can see, they start flowing out, which is perfect. That's exactly what the system is made to do. And uh, as you can see. Because of how the design is made, they are all firing independent of each other. You can see that at the top with all of these comparators firing off at different times. Basically, how this works is um, the basis of an auto dropper is that um, usually you send a pulse into the main comparator because the way that you detect an auto dropper is through a comparator. Usually, what you do is you make a clock with the comparator um, with the comparator output. Now, usually people will. Uh, make the comparator itself a clock, but I decided that looking back on one of my original designs for the auto dropper, it had a hopper clock in it, and I thought, hey, hopper clocks are a one wide thing that are very easily tileable, and so I decided that we should do that. Now, as you can see, uh, I am just running out of. How did I lose one? What? Oh, there it is. Yes, as you can see, they are all returned to me, so this system works great. Um, and as you can see, it works very well. Um, obviously, this is not a very difficult system to use. There are very, like I said, there are very many uh, cheaper ways of doing this, but none I have seen that are tileable. And um, I, I hold to that statement because I just looked, and I have yet to see a single auto dropper design that is tileable. Um, now, this is also theoretically seamless. Or uh, yeah, would seamless be the correct word? I think seamless would be the correct word. Um, because, as you can see, you can put blocks over it, so all you can see is the dispensers. But what you probably would want to do is um, do a hopper system. This would probably be good for a mass mob farm, like if you have, a, per se, a bunch of witch huts all within the same vicinity of each other. You could have this as an overflow system to where if one hopper can't keep up with it all at once, then you can sure as heck bet that if you wind them up all over across these these dispensers, then it would work. Another good design for it is if um, you have a mass egg and chicken farm. If you um, wire the chicken drops back through and into this, you can get a pretty decently working design for that. But like I said, this is a very simple system. Uh, if you would like to see it once again, uh, how to build it, this is probably the best... Yeah, this is probably the best uh, you're going to see, uh, because, it, like I said, very cheap, very easy to make, and um, I would say that this is probably the best one that is out there in the current time. But anyway, uh, just putting it out there that this is Minecraft version 1.8.1, um, probably not going to be broken by any future updates unless there is a huge change to how redstone works, which usually doesn't happen that often. But anyway, like I said, that is going to be all for today's episode of Minecraft. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a like, comment, favorite, or even subscribe. Helps out so much more than you guys could possibly imagine. And yeah, I will see you guys later.